Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. How are we all? Hey, I never did Phil's uh, message because uh, we were in the mid middle of doing stuff. <laughs> it's all gone horribly. Right. Uh -oh. Phil, play the sexy music. There we go. Phil is now in the house. Good, good, good. Uh, Phil's message. Yippee! Everybody go and listen to Phil's sexy music. Uh, everybody go and watch Kerry's super videos on the YouTubes. VIPs are in the house. Um, we don't have a mod in at this point, I don't think, unless they're lurking. Um, 
so we can have fun on at this point in time. Good, good, good. How's everyone's hump day? Hope it's been good for you all. <laughs> Humpy, yep. Yes, uh, new redeem uh, in honour of all <laughs> the very sketchy, uh, very sketchy tales that we've had in here um, <laughs> over the last couple of streams. Between Dan and his finger in the fridge, uh, Koo's continued oh my god stories uh, and uh, Grimm's tales, then uh, yeah, we, we <laughs> we're doing quite well. So uh, I thought, why not have a redeem that reflects that? Uh, although I think the volume might be slightly low. Somebody redeem that again so we can see that. <laughs> uh, let me do that. I'll just do that because I've got hundreds and hundreds of points, as they say. Let's go. Oh, and this one time at band camp, I stuck a flute in my pussy. <laughs> Excuse me? Because <laughs> that's about the reaction that everybody's had to every story over the last couple oh, of... Oh, this one time at band camp, <laughs> I stuck a flute in my pussy. Grim is here. I hear you talking smack. Excuse me? <laughs> so, <laughs> Den what? In Denmark, these nuts. Indeed, indeed, indeed. So, we've got loads of people in. Grim is here. Hello, hello. How are you? Phil is here. Good stuff. Alison's here. Uh, Dan and Kerry are here. Nay is here. Uh, Lisa is lurking. Thank you very much again, Lisa, for the bits. Appreciate that. Uh, Zwan is here. It's colossal. Indeed. So says Kerry. Uh, did I miss anybody? I don't know. Rigged. I just noticed Kerry saying rigged. <laughs> Shocking. Everybody was enjoying the drop. Ku didn't get me this time. Uh, and good for that, since you were playing a horror game. Ooh. Uh, what what horror game were you playing, Grim? Um, interested to know. Uh, there's oh yeah, I was going to talk about that, wasn't I? Um, there's a <laughs> Emika Games, a friend of the stream. We've played a lot of Emika Games and enjoyed them. Uh, Emika Games' brother has just released a game called April the Twenty Fourth, which, funnily enough, came out today. Cry of Fear. All right, okay, so that's the yeah, yeah the, the super duper one. Um, yeah, so yeah, and uh, I think we'll play the demo. I played the demo today. It's ten minutes long. Um, it's very Emika games. <laughs> uh, the game came out today, and it's supposed to be about 40, 50 minutes long. So I'll just let it, I'll, I'll let it go. I mean, it's only a fiver, but for the sake of forty minutes, I know that would probably take us over an hour. But I'll wait for a couple of weeks till it comes down in price a little bit. There's plenty of other games for us to play, uh, but it's uh, the demo is pretty good. I might do it on Friday actually before we start Lazarus. Just uh, just as a bit of a palate cleanser to get in there. Uh, but yeah, it's. Um, it's got all the Emika Games hallmarks, uh, the sound design, the creepy uh, movement in the back of your eye, etc. So that that should be quite good fun, I think. Um, yeah, so I think that's probably the probably some, some weird stories going on today. There's a bit horses running through the middle of central London. What was that all about? Very exciting. Um, five horses running about the centre of London. <laughs> I did find it a bit weird that seemingly they bolted after a uh, noise made by builders. Surely these horses are hearing cannons go off at ceremonial parades um, and they're constantly in the public. Why the hell did builders uh, make a noise that made five horses bolt into central London? And they caught up with the last ones five miles away from the point where they actually left the stables. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Mad scenes, mad scenes. Everybody's okay though, I think. I think the worst that happened was a bus got a smashed windscreen as a horse ran into it. Um, but but uh, yeah, I think the horses are okay. There was a couple of soldiers with minor injuries because they got kind of trampled by them, but uh, we're all good from that point of view. So, strange tales from the capital today, yeah? Very, very, very weird. Yes, so um, yeah, there was a Wired Productions um, showcase last night a couple of horror games um were sort of hinted at one particularly that we might be interested in uh, by the developer of kerry what's that game you were playing um something about the city of light was it the city of light uh, and the same people had developed 
Martha is Dead, uh, which is seemingly a, a good psychological horror. Um, a new game is coming from them at some point. There's not a huge amount of detail around about it, they just did a sort of teaser trailer. Uh, so that should be quite good. Uh, City of Light, yeah. Um, I should really play that as a wired creator. <laughs> uh, so I may well have to look at that at some point. Um, so yes, that was interesting. Um, Gory Cuddly Carnage is uh, got a release date now, which is even better because that game is absolutely mental. Uh, don't know if any of you have seen that one, but uh, Gory Cuddly Carnage, it's called. It's uh, about a cat who goes about on a hoverboard slaying zombie unicorns <laughs> yes it is absolutely as mad as it sounds um banshee and i saw it at gamescom last year we got to uh, well banshee hello honor damn it mods here fun off um sounds like my sunday yeah um it is uh, there was a demo about for a while but i don't think you can get it anymore um but we saw it behind closed doors at gamescom last year um so yeah that was a good time uh, and, and banshee played through it uh, and we got to chat with the uh, pr guy and the developer so um yeah that was very very good so it's now got a release date so i can't i think it's august actually 29th so it's plenty time away it's more of an action game so it's maybe not so well we, we might play it on stream we might not we'll, we'll just need to see uh, i might play a bit of it on stream just for the just for the laugh uh, I've seen unicorns <laughs> with rainbow blood getting splattered all over the place. So, yeah, um, quite a good one, that one. So, yes, a couple of things coming out of that Wired Productions uh, showcase that was, that might be of interest to us. Um, and as I say, oh, the other the other game uh, that's coming out is by Tom C UK. Um, remember that game we played that looked very, very, very realistic. It was a body cam footage and we went into uh, we started off beside a car and went into a sort of abandoned piece of ground and then went into a hospital and then investigated the hospital um he has uh, a new game a new body cam footage game coming out soon as well so that could be an interesting one uh, I've, I've wish listed that so I, I don't lose track of it i think i've got about 80 games on my wish list at the moment <laughs> just so i don't lose track of them in the melee of all the games that are around and about honor is laughing hi everyone uh reaper laugh so yes hope you've all had a good wednesday hope it's all going well um i've had a reasonable wednesday still quite stressful week though i can't wait for the weekend but hopefully tonight's game you want your ramen shop well we'll see how long that's going to take i don't you know I, I would think we're probably a good couple of two to three months away from that coming um so but there's plenty of things coming down the line may is going to be quite a busy month i think in terms of uh, games so uh yeah we'll we'll just need to see uh how everything fits in <laughs> we will probably still be playing dark side detective until that point anyway um, given the fact that there's a load of cases and a sequel and it seems to have been uh, well received let's say uh, on Monday night I am now panicked because I can't quite remember <laughs> the various uh, voices that I was doing for the characters thankfully I could probably slip into the the, uh, the main two fairly quickly and we'll be on a different different case tonight so I'll be able to employ some other uh, we'll probably get to hear recycled voices in different <laughs> in different scenarios although whether I go back near the French one I don't know <laughs> um, as it cost me a follower last time <laughs> well I'm blaming it on that but I don't really know I don't think so uh, I gained a follower today though the crypt community uh, which I'm part of which is a horror streamer collective uh, has now got a twitch channel so they were um, looking for people to follow them and they were asking if people wanted to follow back so we're back up to 221 followers which is good um i'd rather get to 222 obviously because that's quite a nice number and then i'd rather really get to 250. so we'll push on for that uh whether dark side detective is the correct game to be uh 
pulling in viewers or not, who knows? Um, but we had we had a good laugh on Monday night. I think everybody kind of universally enjoyed it. Uh, there was some fairly unhinged tales. Dan, we never got your tale um, about the nose, so we might get that tonight. Uh, <laughs> that game is good, yes. Um, and Phil, Phil's got a story about a rather sexy movie that he worked on in a previous job, so we might get a bit of that at some point. Oh, and this one time at band camp, I stuck a flute in my pussy. <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah, that's the reaction that everybody's had. Just give me two seconds here, because that's uh, that could do with being a touch higher. I was a bit concerned that all the other uh, redeems were getting a bit into, they were interfering a bit with the... Um, why is that not opening? Come on, you can do it. Ooh, who did that? Thank you, Van. Thank you so much for the resub. Very Hello. kind of you. Uh, oh, that is actually at almost full bung volume, so we'll just have to be quiet when that one comes up. Cool. Uh, right, so mm -hmm. that's where we are. Van has subscribed for seven months in a row. Whoa. Pardon. <laughs> oh no, you have not been here for a while. I'm so excited! <laughs> it is now um, <laughs> at various points in this stream, the level of unhinged story that we have been hearing <laughs> warranted that clip because that's what you kind of listen you're thinking, okay, somebody's got a wee story and somebody goes, what? After it, it's just it's absolutely mental. Colossal. It is colossal. Yes, uh, Dan has already played that. <laughs> we aren't. In. William, move your head. <laughs> Look at the size of that boy's head. I'm just not stuff. kidding. It's like an orange on a toothpick. <laughs> You're gonna get the boy a complex. Well, that's a huge noggin. It's a virtual planetoid. <laughs> Has its own weather system. Oh, let's go. Heat. <laughs> And she's just going through everything. She's redeeming everything. <laughs> the door got blown off. What door are you doing? The door of the car? The door of the house? The door of the we need to know now. <laughs> um, yes, the door of the... The door of the house, the door of the car. Are you okay? Is everything fine? Do we need to send out a search party? People have been asking if I've been lifting The door heaps of the chat lately. being unhinged. I, I don't know how to tell you guys this. I've never stopped. Ew. I would never stop lifting <laughs> heads in my life. Doing. They are the reason that I wake up and eat brekkie every day. They're and the reason here. I just eat. Absolutely I missed messages, did I? Oh, massive sorry. Massive truck fulls of kilos <laughs> of chicken breast anytime I can. Uh, so yeah. if you're wondering if I'm still lifting, know that I wouldn't be alive if I wasn't lifting, mates. Indeed. Because lifting is life. They're the same thing. They're the same so... thing. So... <sighs> right. Did everybody get that out of their system for a bit? <laughs> I missed messages. I didn't think. Did I miss messages? I saw Honor saying a few expletives and what the that's and uh, <laughs> uh, all right, officer uh, ban uh, banch the fashion police. Indeed. Oh, aha. Uh -huh. mm, yeah. Right. What say we that we dive back in and help the dark side division? I shall just change the info to move away from just chatting. And do that. She has style for real. I'm so My daughter's excited. got her options at school. What would be a better GCSE, IT or computer science? Don't ask me. I am old. I did neither. <laughs> I'm so excited! What's the... <laughs> I was going to say, what A, what's the difference? And B, Yippee! which one's easier to get a good grade in? Because actually it makes no difference at all <laughs> later on in life what qualification you've got but if you can get an easy pass 
<laughs> there you go then. <laughs> Phil has spoken. <laughs> It'll be IT. <laughs> There's no need to do anything else. Computer science forms an alliance. Uh, where's the where's the teachers in the chat? That's what we need. We need the teachers in the chat to uh, give us a, a bit of a... IT is working with the programs. Computer science is more creating them and algorithms. What is better, IT or computer science? I come on, teach. Right. Now, Disorient Express. I'm going to change the channel, everybody, just don't panic now. I just thought I'd uh, <laughs> do that. Right, we're all good. We're all good. Oh, Grim, I've got Grim. I've, I've been fiddling, <laughs> I've been improving my uh, paint.net. There we go. Look at that now. How cool does that look? I have been doctoring. I've been getting better at using paint shop. Is that better for you now? Brother Grimm's Tales. <laughs> we'll save that one for next. <laughs> right. You could be thinking about your uh, tale for today. Uh, so we've got. A, we need a tale from Grimm. We need a tale from Phil, and we need a tale from Dan. Dan says he's got a tale about a marine and a nose, <laughs> which I'm a little bit concerned about, considering the level of absolute insanity that the finger story was. Uh, Phil is going to talk about dodgy movies, which again, a little bit concerned that we're going to break Twitch's TOS. <laughs> and we just have no idea what Grimm's going to come up with. Anywho, let's get into this game. Ahem. Switching to PC. Oh, it gets kind of fail. Okay. <laughs> I made this a thing, and do I regret it? Perhaps. Well, yes. To be fair, <laughs> you made it a thing, and Ku took it and ran. <laughs> Ku took it and ran and stunned us every time she's told us a tale. We're all like, what? <laughs> Like always, yeah. Right, here we go. Let's get into this, folks. Case summary. Dooley has called me to the subway station to deal with an emergency. Okay, so we're going to the subway station. Disorient Express. Have we all got our detective pants on? <laughs> oh, we start with Dooley. We're straight in with Dooley. Um, I need to channel Dooley here. Oh, good grief. Detective, you're here. I came as soon as you called. What's the case? Your detective pants are always on. Case? No, I just need it, all right? <laughs> Station's closed. <laughs> closed? Yeah, some spooky train's blocking the platform. Anyway, let's go. A spooky train? Yep, spooky train. Anyway, we better get going or we'll be late to work. Dooley, it's a spooky train. We're the Dark Side Division. Do you not think? I try not to. That's detective work. Let's go have a look then. <laughs> you detect someone is waiting no pants. I know it's only been two days, but I miss Dooley. I love Dooley. <laughs> Rot row. Mm -hmm. Fine, but if we miss the free donuts at work, you're buying. Right, we're off. Where are we going? We've got. Uh... Oh, and this one time at band camp, I stuck a flute in my pussy. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how everybody fights that straight away. <laughs> uh, this one time at band camp. Uh, so, I need to shout out Banshee. I need to shout out Nay. Why does Drax never come up on this? It drives me nuts. 
Welcome in Drax, hopefully at some point you'll pop up on my shout out list and I'll be able to shout you out. This, oh there we go, hey! Beautiful. Wait, what are we waiting for, Nay? Nee? I'm a ghost. Ooh. Oh, and this one time, at band camp, I stuck a flute in my pussy. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Any, let's not get hung up on that. Are you sure we just can't go to work? I need to get my morning nap in. It's the very delayed reaction. <laughs> Absolutely. But that's what it's like in here. Everybody's been like, yeah, right, read to the bottom oh, of the story and then going, what? Anyway, let's get going or we're never going to get this blooming thing sorted out. Excuse me? <laughs> I, well, I think you're a teacher. You know exactly what she means by that. Uh, before 2000, shows and movies had something going, absolutely. Dan still wins for the most insane story I've ever heard. Yeah, that was an insane, an insane story. Right, Officer Dooley. Let's get on with this waste of time, nothing happening here, investigation then. Right, let, oh, station sign. I can't say I'm surprised to find that something strange is happening here. <laughs> that makes me feel it. 666 station. Low IQ is stealing patter because you aren't smart enough to come up with your own. <laughs> Nay bother, and yet you stole this. Okay. Uh, subway stairs, let's go down the stairs. Okay, okay, okay. Exit. We've got a ticket machine. Seems to be working, but I have no cash. Time to put this badge to work. <laughs> and make use of my police privileges. <laughs> uh, right, anyway. Uh, flickering light. Flickering lights always suggest spooky hijinks. <laughs> right, folks. <laughs> <laughs> we need to concentrate on the case. <laughs> Nay is not a mod. <laughs> the only mods in my channel are Banshee and Honor. So we've got a flickering light, we've got a barrier. Sorry, detective, this barrier's broken. We have to crawl under it. Can't we at least jump over? No, the insurance for jumping was too high. We're only cleared for a slow crawl. Being a cop is nothing like television promised it would be. Hang on a minute. What did that say? Cops is dumb. <laughs> Not as dumb as your grammar, kid. Yeah, kid. Okay, so we're going down the back here. Maybe he's no feeling it. <laughs> I can sense, Phil, you are cru <laughs> you're cru <laughs> you're cruising for a time out here. Oscar. <laughs> Uncle Sam don't want to know about the truths I'm here to show, so it makes me frown. When I smell that big his dumb psychic up, shut me down. <laughs> Sidekick isn't a word. <laughs> Poetic license. Pig. What was his name? Oscar the Grouch. Fantastic, I love it. <laughs> uh, I'm not as loved as much. I'm no the favourite sister. <laughs> 37 messages were deleted by a mod. Oh my goodness. Uh, right, anyway, who's this dude? Conductor. Uh, where's he going to be from? Uh, do you have a ticket, sir? Sorry, who are you? Train's conductor, sir. Right, you look a tad ghostly sir that I do that I do are you a ghost 
Oh my goodness. Not at all, sir. Ghosts are blue, for one, and they can't be seen. Not without the proper equipment. No, we're from the dark side. Then what are you doing here? Train stuck, sir. Do my job to keep the passengers safe while this gets rectified. Rectified? Yes, sir. I'm sure those boys from the bright side division are looking into it right now. <laughs> bright side division. Bright side division. Right. Why are you here? As I said, sir, train stuck. Not sure what caused it. Likely a problem with the tracks, sir. Would have to see inside the control rooms to be sure, but I can't leave me post here. Thought not. I'm afraid I'll have to ask you, Solids, to leave. <laughs> Did you just call us Solids? Certainly not, sirs. I wouldn't be throwing language around like that. Okay. Come back any time, sir. <laughs> Need you to voice everything everywhere from now on. <laughs> no, don't know. That's bending my brain already. <laughs> It's kind of hard going. Um, eerie train. I'm oh, sorry, we've got a platform there. Like, uh, there's something about this green, transparent and eerie train that suggests it's no meant to be here. Okay. Uh, conductor, we've talked to the conductor about eerie train. Can we talk more to the bus? Okay, so he doesn't... say anything more although we may yet see him back security camera I wonder if this camera caught any useful footage but I can see that the working light is painted on janitor's cart a plunger but without the plungy bit surely a plunger without the plungy bit's just a stick St <laughs> oh my god I'm thinking like Dooley now <laughs> So I stick then. <laughs> uh, okay, so we've got that. We've got the control room. We've got a bin. Hmm. There seems to be something in here. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> uh, and a receipt. Okay. What does the receipt say? A glowing green receipt that says for pickup. I can't read much else on it. Uh, two more of these and I can have a mediocre juggling act. <laughs> oh, Phil's in his Glasgow voice. He's becoming, uh, he's be he's becoming violent now. Control room. Let's try the con The control room is locked. Okay. For now. Dooley. Ah, come on, detective. You know as well as I do how these things go. Wee Davy is out in the streets. Toilets? Ooh, a hey, rat. Rats, rats, we are the rats. Mirror. Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> I need to get my eyebrows plucked. <laughs> Dooley is the man, man. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Timing out people now. Cubicle. Oh my god. Spooky hover. <laughs> <laughs> um, hi there. <laughs> oh, sorry. The door was unlocked. Yeah, locks broke and I have no feet to hold against it. Right, well, uh, I'll leave you to it, pal. Whoa, hold up, daddy -o. I'm in a bit of a funky situation. Maybe you could help me out. Oh, uh, what is it? Stahl has no toilet paper, daddy -o, and I'm a cat that needs some. Uh, yeah, uh, sure, uh, we can look. <laughs> Let's get that. I'm in a bit of a bind, daddy-o. Let's go. 
I didn't really want to ask Dooley what was going on in there. <laughs> that might have been a bad, bad, bad <laughs> situation. What the heck? What on earth's that? Not sure, but I think we should send it back to wherever it came from. Flush. I don't think that's going to get rid of that thing. Average Australian toilet. <laughs> no use. <laughs> God, Dooley. You can say that it's in tentacle and staying where it is. Eh? 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 <laughs> I need to find something to push it down with. Right, let's get that stuck onto that. My gut says no on this one. <laughs> Grim thinks it's a fun looking toilet. <laughs> okay. That's some lazy graffiti. I always put in more effort when tagging the subways. <laughs> what? You heard me, Nark. <laughs> Dooley's on one, man. I've heard of sewer gators, but sewer cephalopods will go down a treat on my conspiracy blog. <laughs> you have a conspiracy blog? Yeah. <laughs> Illuminati.com <laughs> I write about important stuff like the world lizard, crop dusting and how the moon's fake <laughs> The moon is fake Oh yeah, not only did we not land there, but there doesn't even exist Who would lie about that and why? The moon people from the real moon behind the fake one <laughs> Why don't you write more about the stuff we see? Sure, who'd care about a born old train when there are moon people filling their heads with lies? <laughs> it's a real website. No way. <laughs> Tulumanati is a real website. We might have a look at that at the end. Uh, right, let's go. let's get the you know what out of here before I have a... Okay, toilet paper. Creepy or not, nobody deserves to be stranded without toilet paper. Okay, so we've got the toilet roll. We've flushed the toilet. Anything going to come here? Is it actual proper Duluminati? That noise reminds me of my career since I was assigned to the Dark Side Division. We need to see it now. Okay, two seconds. Why do you always why do you always follow me into these tight spaces? Well, you know what they say about friends in tight spaces? No. Me neither. <laughs> right, okay, two seconds. Hopefully this works and I don't crash the game. Right, let's go across here and do uh <laughs> Do loom in a t dot com. How do you spell it? I've obviously done that wrong. Which channel did you put it in a Discord, Banshee? Was it just a direct message, was it? No. Uh, death notes, okay. Okay. Uh, right, okay, I'm getting there, I'm getting there, folks, I'm getting there. Two seconds, we need to go to... Where the hell's the browser going? Browser. Uh, and then we go to... There we go. We're on. Okay. <laughs> there is actually <laughs> one time at band camp. <laughs> Look at this. It is actually real. Do Illuminati. The truth is somewhere. <laughs> Hey there, my name's Patrick Dooley and I'm here to tell you what's really going on in Twin Lake City. Read on, fellow truthers. <laughs> 
<laughs> Guess which one of these celebrities is a secret grand lizard of the Illuminati? <laughs> Absolutely banging. Love it, love it, love it. Look at this, man. V Vietnam or Vietnam? <laughs> How to avoid aliens. Hey, uh, Phil, you need to get the boys onto this one. <laughs> late fees. Look at that, late fees. The Times bestseller. Superb. Oh, it takes you through a thingy. It takes you, it's a link to the game. Superb. I absolutely love that. That is absolutely banging, man. <laughs> late fees. <laughs> That's from the first one. Amazing, amazing, amazing gameplay. Right, let's go. Anyway, um, <laughs> let's get back to the actual game. <laughs> I'll let you watch that one in your uh, own time. Uh, or look at that one in your own time. It was worth... <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, right, let's go back out here. I don't know where that rat keeps disappearing to. Uh, cubicle, let's go. Uh, we can give this to this man. Here you go, guy. Sorry to leave you hovering for so long. Far out, daddy -o. Here, take this coin as thanks. Occult coin. Ooh, it's a t it is the TPL store. You get an occult coin. <laughs> I'm grateful for your help, daddy -o. But do you intend to stick around for the main show? <laughs> I don't feel comfortable with any of this. You and me both, daddy -o. <laughs> Knights of the Commune coin, exactly. Right, let's get the you-know-what out of here. Um, okay, we've done that. So I'm assuming that we can't do anything more here. Oh God, what's happened? Flickering light. It wouldn't be a dodgy underground bathroom without a flickering light. It also wouldn't be a secret rave venue. Mm hmm. What was that? Nothing, detective. Okay. Dooley seems to know an awful lot about this station. After hours. <laughs> uh, right, let's go back up to the platform. <laughs> Start to sound like Dooley a bit. Well, I... Um, okay, so we've done that. Control room we can't get into. Control room is locked for now. To the... Uh, okay. Seems that's the last of the sweet, sweet janitor card goodies. Okay, so back to the platform. Uh, sure, I've been here 24 years and can't get you into a Glasgow accent, but one dooley comes along. <laughs> and it's the <a> thing. <laughs> Who even is Spain? Uh, I think, uh, <laughs> Phil, was that planned or not? Right, let's talk to the conductor. Um, do you have tickets, sir? Okay, right, okay, here we go. Here's Dan's story of the day. I've missed the start. Right, once upon a time, in 2008, the men and I was in a Afghanistan, okay, being all manly. We had just come off a four-week strike up, taking a lot of enemy ground. Pumped them full of holes and filled them up with lead. We was deservicing our kit and re-ammo when two lads started having a mini flare fight in the compound. Okay. And uh, with the well-trained, accurate firing, one bounced off the floor and up one of the noses which was stuck there and burnt most of his face and got flown back to the UK to have plastic surgery and a payout <laughs> good grief <laughs> okay Dan is winning the story of the night at this point in time <laughs> Grim <laughs> in fact <laughs> Phil or Grim you're going to have a, a hard job beating that one uh, right, so let's go up the stairs. There's nothing more to say there. I'm wondering if I can use the coin in the ticket machine. There is not a chance in hell that this will work. Okay. Oh, right. Of course. We received a ticket. Great. 
If he was able to flare his nostrils, dear me. Do you have tickets, sir? I do have a ticket. Oh, you do. Only, it's just that you look a little... A little... <laughs> uh, don't get offended, sir, but you look a little healthy. Anyway, please hand it over when ready, sir. Come back any time, sir. Uh, right, okay, ticket. Here you go, one ticket. Fine, on you go then, I suppose. Let's get... Ooh, okay. <laughs> I like your glasses. <laughs> da, they're my party goggles. <laughs> I don't know where that's come from. <laughs> I hope I don't have to do too much dialogue with that one. On your way to a party. As uh, always, darling, every place is party place when I have my goggles on. And I always have my goggles on. Even here now, we party on the train. Okay, hippie gal. Well, hello there. <laughs> hey, uh. <laughs> Where are you off to? <laughs> I was on my way to San Francisco. Frankenstein Cisco, obviously. But then we get stuck here. This place is terrifying. How so? Well, for a start, there's not a single screaming beast in the sky. Nobody's been followed by shadow men. Nothing's on fire. Nothing. Maybe you're not the girl for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nanny Dooley, is that you? Sorry, dearie. I'm Granny Gooley. You do look like my little Patrick, though. My name's Patrick, too. Do you also like games of I Spy as a child? I did. I spy with my little eye the coming of the end, the world eating itself, rivers of gore flooding the streets. Ah, uh, I don't know this version of the game. Oh, seeing the end times was little Patrick's favourite. Okay. Uh, party guy, Anton the party guy. Two tracks. Ooh. Ah, a dark side portal. It appears we've found our number one suspect for all these strange goings on. <laughs> now the mod is gone, we can go wild. You've the right to remain silent when questioned. Anything you say or do may be. Dooley, what are you doing? Reading at it, its rights. And how exactly do you intend to arrest it? With my handcuffs, obviously. Top marks for enthusiasm, Dooley. Okay, we're on our way through the portal. Oh, I don't think there's anything else we can do, so let's go. Oh, God. Looks like the purple rift has an accomplice. I'm going to need a second pair of handcuffs. Shaq Laddie just donated five pounds to if you care Thank share you so foundation. Much, Shaq Laddie just donated five pounds to if you care like share foundation. Thing. Thank you so much, Phil. Really appreciate that. Uh, you look familiar. Does the fire recognise the flame? Does the darkness recognise the shadow? Does the storm recognise the... the... wind... rain? Damn it, man. I've lost my train of thought. So you're an agent here, eh? We are all agents of the never-ending hunt. Bloodborne reference. Servants of the crawling death void. Ministers of the world's cruelty. Well, I'm happy you're doing okay for yourself. Thanks. It's been a lot of hard work and late nights at the office. Any idea what's going on? 
interlopers, fiends, fleshy monstrosities, things that should not have come to pass, tracks of chaos intertwine. So, not much of an idea right now then. No. So receding hairline, how's that treating you? The end comes for us all. Entropy is a cruel mistress. Yeah, let's hope it's from growing up in this weird hole. Okay, I'd best be going. We had all best be going to the places we would best be at. Yeah. Okay, onto the train. Oh god, there's so many people on this train. <gasps> Rax is here! Oh, Rax is on a gap yard. <laughs> Finally, somebody in authority. Oh, conductor. Is that conductor Al, do we see? Hi! <laughs> Sorry, guy, but you don't know any more than the rest of us. Hi, detective. What's going on? Raxa, why are you here? Getting the train home from university. Then we got diverted to wherever this is. Well, we're on the case now, so get comfortable. He means... No, yeah, no, yeah, I get it. Let me know if I can help at all. Well do. <laughs> I am... <laughs> I am loving Raxa. <laughs> You're a secret mod. Headphones. Uh, hello? Do da -de. I wonder if he even knows what's going on. Conductor. Stay back, monster. Whoa, calm down. Sorry, I thought you were him. Him. The intense man in the tunnel who threatens to arrest and or eat anyone who gets off this train. <laughs> arrest or eat? Yep. And I'm not sure who chooses. What's going on here? You're not... You're not really, not him. Ah, uh, I don't really know what happened. We left the last station on time. Then some weird lights flashed, and now we're here. Wherever here is. Who's this man you keep talking about? He, he looks a bit like you. Only not, not at all now that I see you. Properly see you. He stalks about outside this train, sniffing for clues and snarling when he sees us. Has he hurt anyone so far? Thankfully, no. He seems more menacing than dangerous. Goodbye. If you need anything else, I'll be here. Sorry about the mix-up earlier. Okay. So we're not getting a huge amount out of everybody here. Waste our way. Hey, dude. We've been on this train for ages. What's going on? I'm afraid... Because I keep seeing floating green people. I'm not at liberty. Eh, I think I indulged a little too much this morning. You probably shouldn't tell me that. I'm an officer of the law. Far out, dude. Never mind. Okay, so... Warning sign. If you find yourself in a parallel dimension... Please stay in the carriage. An oddly useful warning. <laughs> fire extinguisher. In case of fire, pray somebody has refilled the extinguisher. They have not. Mm, okay. Mm. Any updates, detective? Still investigating, Raxana. Okay, well, if I can be of help, just let me know. Uh, okay. I'm assuming as we can go onto the platform, we probably should go onto the platform. I should probably stay with these people, make sure they're okay. I do, I'm sure you should. You're tired from walking through the tunnels, aren't you? Stop using your Sherlock powers on me. Okay, oh God. Who's this dude? We've got the busker, ghost cop. Is this ghost to Dooley? <laughs> No, 
now then, now then, now then. You look like one of those living folk we've got plodding about the place right now. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Officer Dooley. Name's Gooley, Chief of the Brightside Division. <laughs> Brightside. Division. Specialists. Deal with threats from your neck of the woods so as to speak. My neck of the woods. The other world. That which from whence you came, son. I surmise from your appearance that you are a detective. Albeit a one down on his luck. Hey. I presume that being the case, you've crossed over to investigate your world's version of this situation. I am. Can you help? No, son. I cannot. This isn't your jurisdiction. You should leave this to us professionals and take care of our train back in your own world. Shouldn't you look into that? Jurisdiction, son. Seems like a concept beyond a dangerous maverick such as yourself. Maybe I should slap you behind bars. Okay, Chief Gooley. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Sing me a song, buddy. What? You're the busker, not me. <laughs> I think he's a bit... Well, he's, he's a bit more smart arsed than Dooley. Uh, that's how buskers work here, you tourist. Okay, so do I want to go upstairs? Okay. That's down to there. Ticket machine. Outside. Is this... Is this machine crying? Come get me from the station, he said. Routine, he said. Ass. Most of the dark side city appears to be in ruin. Trains do not run on time. They run on fuel. Trains will also be late. Some things are universal, I suppose. So we've got subway stairs. We've got Deb Sky. It hurts my eyes to look. What the hell is that thing? Can we, it looks like it's a dragon or something, but can we catch it as it's flying past? What the hell was that? <laughs> Shop sign. Given how little I know about how this place works, they can sell costumes or turn you into one. <laughs> uh, that's not the case here, Grim. <laughs> Literally everything is never on time. Daily Chronicle. What horrors could possibly make the news here? Mayor points off camera. <laughs> okay. The dark side shop. Oh, good grief. Pirate outfit. Amaze your friends. Surprise your enemies. Confuse real pirates with this inefficient pirate ensemble. Comes with a free press ganging. Biker outfit. Be a badass biker. Bike not included. Are you still a biker without a bike? Be a badass walker. Good grief. Transport's free here except trains to other cities. Well, no, it costs you an absolute fortune to go everywhere here. <laughs> Assuming your ass is bad, either in the dangerous sense or the missing a buttock way, your call. There's an ad starting in 43 seconds, everyone, just in case you need to know that. Did you write these adverts yourself? <laughs> I'm running out of voices, man. Um, no, sir. Came that way, sir. Good words, ain't they, sir? Uh, wizard outfit. A snarky teenaged wizard is welcome anywhere. Did that, uh, have I broken the, I see that Kerry, sorry, that didn't come through though, did it? Refresh. <laughs> and Shaq's gone again, right, two seconds, I've left me, left me fish hat over here.
<laughs> okay. Don't get yourself in any trouble, Grim. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Are the uh, alerts working? Just want to check. Okay, they are working. I don't know why Kerry's one didn't go off there. Um, anyway. They're working now. It's ad break time. Um, right, a snarky teenage wizard is welcome anywhere. Yeah, okay, so I've got 20 minutes of that to go. <laughs> uh, two fish hats in a row. Yeah, don't say anything more than you. Uh, <laughs> don't get yourself in trouble, Grim. Well, not so much welcomed as he'll turn up and then he'll be there and it's almost as much hassle to get rid of him as it is to just leave him be. That's my usual party vibe anyway, so two thumbs up from me. Alison, Zwan, Chu and I just got a Fortnite W. It was bots, but slay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is that not the way that they normally do it? They lure you into Fortnite by letting you play against Yippee! bots and everybody wins and then you go into the I'm real so game and get excited! slaughtered. <laughs> the number of folk I've heard say, oh, we thought we were doing really well and then went into the actual game <laughs> and got absolutely clobbered. Uh, so two thumbs up. Okay. An invisible person. Welcome, sir. It's our, that is to say, me and I's pleasure to welcome you to Custom Shop. Costume Shop, not Custom Shop. So that, so that's the name. Your broken sign wasn't very clear. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, my old fellow said. And if it's broken, maybe don't fix it anyway, he'd add. If it is broken, maybe don't fix it anyway, he'd add. Very practical man he was. How can I aid you, sir? Trying to intimidate your direct superior at work? Hoping to wow a six-armed lover? Tired of looking like a hobo? Hey, that's our motto. Whatever your shame, spiders got you covered. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> You're okay, Grim. Um, we just get on with it. Uh, Right, okay, what, hmm, I, I'm kind of, let's try this. One tick, sir, oh, miss, miss Biscotti, I does beg your pardon, miss, I should have known, obvious to me now it is. Okay, I'll get your items for you now, miss. Uh, oh, um, yes, thanks. Then, here you go, miss, one swim cap. Thanks, I guess. Why on earth would I have a swimming cap? Yeah, no, it'll be fine on Twitch, I'm quite sure. Punk wig. Dressed like a punk. Or a road warrior from the future. Or, um, you could wear this and be a, I don't know, a carrot. Well, I'm convinced. Okay, wig and moustache. What's this one? Looks normal enough to me. Normal, miss? Why, that's the very pillar summers are built on, miss. A friend and a mentor to those in need, a shoulder to cry on, a person willing to live in a wood hut with no air conditioning, the legendary camp counsellor, miss. Nobody would buy that as a camp counsellor. Oh, but they do, miss. It's the moustache, miss. Shows him to be rugged wildermen, suited for the rough and tumble life of a camp counsellor, not for timid folk like you and I, miss. No, miss. Not for shop vendors and coat warmers, no. Yeah, all right, okay. No, no. <laughs> I'm not bothered by that. Uh, you're fine, you're fine. Uh, okay, so I now have a swim cap. What's the swimming cap about? An almost skin-coloured swimming cap. <gasps> Ooh, so does that mean that we can put that on? I need to find something to complete this disguise before I put it on. So... Hmm... Bits box. It's full of ones and zeros. How would anyone wear these? I get it. Bits, ones and zeros. 
I could try to get my hands on it too for a larger miss such as yourself. <laughs> that is confusing as it is insulting. Cash register. Miss, I'll ask you mighty nice, not but once. Keep your dainty fingers from my money box. Okay, poster. If you look like this man, this might be a mirror. Also, you may be wanted by the police for questioning. Okay. Indecipherable blocks coming soon to a theatre near you. I am s I also made cookies. Anyone want any? Well... Cool good, I'm sure. Where is she here? I don't know where she is tonight. <sighs> don't know, don't know, don't know. I'm slightly confused now. There's nothing so... Uh, to me, I should be able... <laughs> Who's a nomston? She would just eat them all. Yep. I think having that swimming cap is supposed to make me look like the other guy <laughs> when Cookie's arrived. Yeah, you're having a night of it tonight, Phil. I presume at some point I'm going to have to put the swimming cap on uh, and get a moustache to impersonate this other guy who's supposed to be like me from a different uh, dimension. So I would have thought I should have been able to get that, but I've got no idea. I don't know any idea. Yeah, put them on Discord, definitely. Not sure that's the best course of action here. Uh, okay, let's go out here at the moment, see if anything's changed out here. Burning barrel. Ah, help, I'm on fire! What on earth? Ah, I'm a burning trash barrel. I meant to be on fire, you gonk. Look at your face. Brilliant. Um, I'm not even. Okay, eh. Uh... <laughs> so we've got the shop. We've got debris. We've got the station site. We must have to go back down the stairs again. Give me one good reason why I don't arrest you this second, son. Uh, I'd rather you didn't. All oh, few up then. Only make screaming me is allowed in. <laughs> All of this is le uh, leaving me in a bit of a mystery as to what the voice should be like. But it should be like uh, Dooley. All oh, few up then. Only make screaming me is allowed in, and you ain't us. Uh, ooh. Okay, so I, I do have to... This is a restricted area. Classified personnel only. Are you a classified personnel? No, I didn't think so. So on account of myself and my scream being the only ones who is... So, unless you is one of us, I suggest you step back, son. Step back. So, I do need to impersonate this guy. I can't get back. Oh, I can't get back onto the train. Right, okay, let's see. Any updates, detective? Still investigating, Raxa. You should have access to it, Grim, if you've picked all your bits and pieces and clicked on the various things. <laughs> you should just be able to click on Omnoms and then do whatever. See, these people look healthier. That's because they're alive, do they? Playing video games, listening to music, indulging in mind-altering substances. I guess they are living life to the fullest. Where am I going to get... Go back through here, though. I 
best be going. Okay, we've done that bit, so... We'd probably best check this place out properly before leaving. Okay, uh Hey, get anybody get any ideas here? I've kind of run out of thoughts. I obviously need, I've got this swimming cap which will make me look receding hair lined, but I need to get a beard from somewhere. And I'm not sure where I'm going to get a beard. I would have thought it would have been at that shop. Good evening David, welcome on in. Uh, there's your wee message there. <laughs> I am slightly stuck. Be in this shop somehow, somewhere. Mm -hmm. Biker outfit it looks like it's got a beard. Be a badass biker. Yes, you do that, Grim. Uh, while I try and think what the heck's going on here. Brother Grim's tail. One cat, 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 <laughs> cat, <laughs> second cat. I can thump the guy on the platform, no, but he's not going to be. Uh... <laughs> just open the, just open the window. It smells like wet dog. <laughs> Is that the story? <laughs> can I thump him with this? Okay. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, go with cat. Uh, ooh, can I thump him with this? Maybe I can go. Oh, I can. 
Speaking of dogs, oh yes, you were all over the dogs today, weren't you? Yes, all the ones you saw today, all 500 of them. Broke your heart, oh. Yay, 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 yay. What have I not done that I need to do? What have I missed? Yeah, absolutely, I would agree with that. Right, Grim, come on, give us your tail. Sorry folks, I'm just kind of, A, I'm waiting for Grim to tell the story, and B, I'm trying to, before I got my cat, I was like, no, we don't need a cat, you're taking care of it, etc, etc, and then we got the cat, the cat chose me to be their human, and I lived happily ever after, <laughs> that's a very wholesome tale from Grim tonight, often works like that, um, my partner is constantly annoyed by the fact that the dogs that I um, don't show as much affection to as she does, always seem to gravitate towards me <laughs> anyway so we've had Grim's tale for the night uh, so there's your non-scar story that you get at random okay yes good uh, control room the control room's locked for now do the come on <sighs> I'm struggling here a bit I've obviously missed something somewhere. Uh, which is going to allow us to progress the story. Don't think that's going to make any difference now. Still here? Yeah, I am a bit perplexed. I can't get into that control room, I can't break my way in. There doesn't appear to... Ah, drip. That water smells funky. It's sewer water, Dooley. That's no excuse for poor hygiene. Okay. Uh, I'll flip five coins, and if three of them are tails, you get cat stories. Cool. Um, right, chat, come on. What's going on here? What have we missed? Let's go back to the start. So this is the start. We can't go any further back than that. The graffiti is not important. The flickering light's not important. We can't get anywhere along there. Ticket machine. <laughs> you haven't been paying attention. Uh, so there's nothing. Indeed, that's the fourth or fifth story of Grim Tales. Do you use the subway often? No. Before we had the squad car, I tended to take taxis. Cough, snob. Cough. 
What? What? Did you say something just then? What? Me? No, no, no. There's a... Yeah, if I go back into the here and I go along to here and through here and through here and out of here we speak to this guy, we're trying to get along this platform here and he says that there's only him and McScream can get along this way on the platform. Now, I've got this swimming cap that if I put that on would give me a receding hairline and if I look at it it says an almost skin coloured swimming cap and if I pull it onto there it says I need to find something to complete this disguise before I put it on. So McScream has a beard, the guy that looks like him but is the ghost so him. So somehow we need to find something that's going to give him, our guy, a beard. Um, but it doesn't appear. If we go outside here, we can go into this costume shop, which you would think naturally would give you. Uh, it just doesn't... I've tried that before. Um, there's nothing... I've been around everything here. It's given us a bit of dialogue. But there's nothing that's saying... The next step is... I mean, the biker outfit looks like it's got a beard. The pirate outfit's got a moustache. That wig and moustache would be probably what we're after, but it's, it's... It doesn't actually allow you to progress any kind of dialogue. Um, so I'm kind of stumped. I think I've, I've, I've obviously missed something along the way that's would trigger the next quit it stop that uh, so we're just repeating dialogue now uh, maybe if we tried that in there not sure that's the best course of action I picked up a coin, but I used that to, to get the ticket to come here. That's why I, I used the occult coin to buy a ticket, a demonic ticket, to get here in the first place. That's how I got past the conductor at the station. Um, but this doesn't appear anything to be able to prise open or thump or bang or... I have drawn a blank. I have a feeling that I must be able to get through here. I can't break that. I can't batter him. choose any of these, they just give me a description about it. He doesn't give me any more dialogue. It's uh, the same thing over and over again. Um, I'm just wondering whether I've just missed something that I should have picked up or...
That's a sky. Okay. Uh, Oh, mould, hang on. A dark patch of fuzzy mould, I think it's looking at me. Fuzzy mould, okay. Here we go, it's okay folks, I've found it. Now I guess I can dress up as Agent McScream whenever I want. Yeah. Bad disguise. Okay, we're on, we're on, we're on. Just that one tiny little bit. Bad disguise. Time to try this. I can't bring myself to call it a disguise. <laughs> Time to try whatever this is out, I guess. <laughs> right, platform. Hold up, son. Do you think that I've not seen my fair share of disguises? This one is particularly poor. What with it partially made up of some fungus and you lacking a certain floaty, transparent quality? Well, it was worth a shot. It was. Wish that agent I sent was so innovative. I can tell you what, son. In you go. Maybe you can solve this thing after all. What about a jurisdiction? Uh, um, jurisdiction. I'll paperwork up a solution. Now, off you go, before I change my mind. Right, thanks. Beautiful. I can get into the control room in this. Looks like he hung in there for too long. <laughs> you know that poster with the cat that says, hang in there. <laughs> That's banging that. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Key rack. Who doesn't like having keys? Okay, so I could probably open that uh, door when I get back to the real world. Then, a note saying, she loathes me, she loathes me not. <laughs> nice, healthy relationship. Computer. All systems operating correctly. Everything seems to be working correctly. Let's not touch anything in case I change that. Okay. So... Bin, computer, key rack, platform. Let's go back out again. Bin, it's full of pictures of you playing a game where a tiny pixel man looks in a trash can at pictures of you. Well, that's not in any way creepy. <laughs> Looking good, Frankie. <laughs> I think you've let yourself go. Shut up, reflection. Wait, what? Ooh. <laughs> it's nailed shut. I don't really like the sound of that. <laughs> Uh, fish hat. <laughs> uh, there we go. Is that going? Yes, fine. Uh, ooh, unknowable thing. Growling, scratching, banging on door. Fish hat stays on during streams. <laughs> uh, I hope that banning holds. This place looks familiar. Either that's a clue, or there is one lazy artist hanging around here. Yeah, okay. Huh. The water goes both clockwise and counterclockwise here. Okay. <laughs> Now, now, let's all just play nice. Seems to be something stuck in there. That's better. <laughs> Thanks, um, I mean, flush. Oh, we've got the plunger head now. Beautiful. The ultimate accessory in toilet debungification. 
Okay, so we can go back to reality now and jam the tentacle thing. Did you... Did you just say flush? No. Plunger. <laughs> this bound to be one. You definitely did. I'm a detective. I don't miss things like talking toilets. <laughs> oh, you got... <laughs> Off to bed, guys. Night, everyone. Night, Kerry. Enjoy. You got me. I can talk. Big whoop. Just do your business and move on. I ain't breaking no laws, cop. I'm okay, thanks. I talk in toilet, eh? And I thought I had a crappy job. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I got dreams, man. I'm going to be a star. Dreams. I'm going to be a comedian, man. Want to hear a joke? As long as the... Oh, God. Everyone's a comedian. Forget, man. Right, let's go. Uh, no point in being there. Let's go. Uh, where are we going? Toilets, lovely point. Indeed. Uh, do we need to speak with him again? Evening. Making progress. Working on it. Good. Keep it up, son. Right. <laughs> uh, right, let's speak to Dooley. I know, okay. Right, let's see what Ruxa says. Raxa, sorry. Raxa. Any updates, Detective? Still investigating Raxa. Okay, well, if I can be of help, just let me know, y'all. Right, let's go to the tracks. What's that you have there? It's... <laughs> it smells of evidence to me, but... Mm, you shall not take it beyond this place. Looks like I'll have to put this key back until I find some other way to get it past him. Okay, can we not give it to Dooley? This is one heck of a light show they've got going on down here. Dooley, they are portals to the dark side. We are in the dark side right now. Of course it's dark, we're underground. That's probably why they've lit it up like this. <laughs> right, so I... Ooh. How am I going to do this then? Do I throw it down the toilet? What if I go and throw the key in the loo I don't think it will find its way to the other side without a guide okay so it must be the next cubicle then it must be John we must need to go to John's cubicle and chuck it in there okay seriously I want to hear one of your jokes Okay, why wouldn't Rex bark? He was a goldfish. <laughs> Can I just chuck this down here now? Can you flush this to the other side for me? What do you think, just because I could talk, I'm magical. Sorry, man, but you're on your own. <sighs> Back for more. Go on. Why the guy threw the butter out the window? You want to see a butterfly? Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, nothing to plunge here. And I can't put that in there. Who's going to be the guide? Okay. Uh, okay, so there's no other way of doing anything in there. Norms. You've got your norms. Good, good. Uh, control room. Can I put it in here somewhere? Can I put it in the bin? 
Okay, no, I can't. Uh, I'm presuming I can't. Yeah, okay, no. Uh, there's no point in putting it on the key rack because then I'm not going to be able to get in. I need to have it. Uh, what if I give it to. Can I give it to Raxa? No, okay. Um, sandwich. Where could I leave this? It needs a guide. Do you get any better dialogue? No. A sandy witch. similar shop. God, this has got a wee bit harder than the first couple, which you would expect, I suppose, but... Eh, uh, what about the stoner dude? No, okay. Any thoughts, chat? Where am I leaving this key so that I can pick it up? Can I just drop it? No. Uh, oh, could I put it in the bin? Um, okay, is it something to do with here? It must be something to do with this guy here. Uh. <laughs> Good grief. Okay. <laughs> Seems convenient here. I'm going to tell a little secret that I know, but Koo might not. But if Koo sees this, then it's not a secret. And Koo, if Nya are watching this, then hello. Okay. <laughs> this could all go horribly, horribly wrong. or something. Is there a pipe in one of the toilets or so? When Ku had a good day she calls me Grimmy and that's the secret. Okay. <laughs> I wonder where she is. It's unusual for her not to be here. I hope she's okay. <sighs> You've got an idea, Van? Yes? About the game? Can I get... No, I can't. He's not allowing me to go back through the portal. Because McScream won't allow me to go back through the portal with evidence. If I go back here and he says basically, what's that you have there? It's, it smells of evidence to me. But you shall not take it beyond this place. So it looks like I'll have to put this key back. 
Yeah, th that's what I thought about doing, but then I thought, actually, the control room on the other side is locked. Someday you'll be mine, little key. Oh yes, you will be mine. Okay. Other side. Other side what? Uh, yeah, I just, um... It just didn't feel right in some respect putting it back because I know you can use the plunger. Um, to do the tentacle now. Right, you little sucker. Ha, <laughs> sucker, tentacles, very good. <laughs> I should be helping, shouldn't I? <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was kind of thinking in my head, but at the, at the same time I was thinking, do I really have to track back all the way through? It just seemed like a hell of a contrived way of doing it, having already picked up the key. Oh, here he goes. <laughs> There's my little wriggly buddy. So this is where I sent you, eh? Right, give him the key. Hold on to this for me, will you, buddy? Do I plunge him now? When I plunge you, Dave, remember that I plunge you with love. Okay, let's go. Thanks, fan. I just sort of... Um, that's what I was thinking, but at the same time I thought, if I ever gone to all the trouble of getting that key, only to go right back and do... And why is Raxa still here? She just asked for, asked for help. Yeah, it was, but it, at the same time, everything else has been reasonably... Not linear, but... You just... It just didn't feel quite right there. Intuitively thinking, mm. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> Did you name the tentacle Dave? Don't be jealous, Dooley. You're still my favourite. Okay, so we've now got the key. Good, good. We, Dave. I wonder if Dooley uses the same. Well, I would have thought so. That seems to have worked. Let's see what's behind door number two. Ooh. Engineer Tam. <laughs> well, how's you getting? Tam locked that door from the inside. This is your handiwork, I take it. <laughs> they shouldn't have fired old Tam for sleeping on the job. Told him he did his black magic classes, started at midnight and ran through. Morning shifts ain't for old Tam. Heavy sleeper he is. Book him duly. I left my book at the station. Can I use these handcuffs instead? Okay. And? Ritual stuff. Looks like this place was the scene of some occultic goings on. The cinnamon candles remind me of Christmas, though, which is nice. <laughs> Old Tam always was fond of Christmas. Papi used to buy us all the trains, and Mama gave us voodoo dolls. Magical time of the year. Okay, uh, so this is all ritual stuff. Here's the poster, look. Get out of there, guy. I've seen what happens if you hang on for too long. What are you talking about? I've seen things, Dooley. Stop going through the trash. An unexpected but strangely relevant note. Okay. Uh, warning, virus detected. Eject the disc. An old floppy disc popped out. This must be how the virus was installed. Could prove useful. Okay. Uh, so I've got the discs. So I'm presuming I'm now... 
going back. Stay here, Dooley, and make sure this guy doesn't get away. But then how's your time meant to escape? That's, that's the point. Ah, uh, well that ain't fair. Right, so am I now belting it back to the platform and onto the train and to the tracks through the portal? Scotland! 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 No thanks, I don't want to go back out there. Uh, okay. Wasn't you this time? Uh, okay, Raxa maybe. Raxa, that's what Raxa is doing here. Any updates, detective? Still investigating Raxa. Okay, well if I can be of help, just let me know. Cursed disc, Raxa. Think you can make any sense of this? Let me see. Oh, this is an occult virus. Yeah, I think it's to blame for all that's going on. I can probably talk you through how to make an antivirus on my machine. That's what I was hoping for, thanks. Oh, good God. So, what do I do? You need to clean the infection. Disc sectors. Sounds easy. Not so easy. It's a virus, so each sector you clean will infect those around it. You can also lower the virus from infected sectors onto clean ones, cleaning the infected areas. Why would I do that? To beat the virus, you have to make sure it has nowhere to hide. That will involve tricking it. This sounds harder than I was expecting. Don't worry, I've made a backup. Just hit reset if you need me to roll back so you can start again. Thanks. Okay, let's do this. What the heck am I doing? Uh -huh. Right, okay. Oh god. Could be here a while, folks. Reset. So we have to go. Oh, right, okay. Let's go there. So that does that. And then there. Hmm. So I can do that from, I didn't realise I could do that from there. Oh yeah, baby. Okay, I think that's it, yeah? Okay, great. And you're sure this will work? Sure is a strong word when dabbling with your cult, oh, but I think so, yeah. I stuck a flute in my pussy. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, if it does, the city owes you big time. Really? Because I'm only this train due to a mountain of parking tickets. <laughs> Antivirus disc, good, good. Two tracks walk through the portal, get on the train, hit the platform, go that way, into the control room, put that in there, upload an antivirus now. And we're off. Beautiful.
The train has gone. It's clean. Great work, Detective. You got the trains moving again. Dooley, you understand what just happened here, right? No. Let's get this guy to the cells. <laughs> How are you going to get me there? Train ain't running. We just... We just talked about how that was fixed. Weren't you listening? Plus, we have this car. This has not been a good day for Tam. Case closed. Well, that took us a little bit of time today. Yay! We have done it. Right, what's the time? 25 past 10. Well, we can at least start the next one, I would say. Do we feel we'll start the next one? Yippee! Have a wee look at what it's all about. Maybe this one will be a bit quicker. Maybe we'll get the head going. Yippee! Police force. Today is my day away from I'm cases. So excited! To catch up on paperwork. Start the investigation, police force. Ooh. You ready, detective? Huh? For McNugget's retirement party, the caterer has arrived with the cake. Grab your gift and let's go. Gift? I thought you'd forget. Don't worry, I put your name on my gift. It's from us. It proceeds to waste three hours. <laughs> Pinboard. My notes from open cases. The downtown ghoulie man. A possibly undead flasher. Mirror Jane, a woman appearing in mirrors to other women who look exactly like her. A lycan toupee, a wig made from werewolf hair which turns others into werewolves when worn. Maybe that should be a werewolves. This is my life now. This is Twin Lakes FM featuring me, Dick Brickman, bringing you Dick Brickman Presents the Weather with me, Dick Brickman. It's raining. Tune in later for me, Dick Brickman, presenting Dick Brickman's Tricky Kicks. Featuring me, Dick Brickman. When all this dark side stuff is put to bed, I'm going to see the whole world. I actually don't know what's in these. The keys were lost before this became my office. <laughs> Richard Richard uh, Dick is short for Richard Don't ask me why That's what it is My trusty coat Goes with everything From shirt and tie To sportswear This was a gift From my old mentor Sergeant McDesk <laughs> My name is Dick You are a dick <laughs> uh. <laughs> This computer <laughs> has been with me since the beginning. The budget won't allow for an upgrade. My folders of weird goings on in Twin Lakes. <laughs> sometimes you, you, you really should take the low hanging fruit, but sometimes it's just um, it's too tempting to get the low hanging fruit. Hurry up, cake. Uh, okay. Put the cops in. <laughs> uh, right, okay. Where are we? We've done everything here. Let's go out to the offices. Water cooler. A glass of cold, refreshing. Nope, this is warm and oddly coloured. Nothing beats that first cup of coffee. If only I had a slice of pie to go with it. Okay. Trophy, best here on the force. <laughs> okay, I'll give him that one. This one looks homemade. 
best at not being McQueen. <laughs> Thanks, Patchy. Don't know if that's a great one or not. But King won this for being the best diver on the force. I don't recall anyone else being allowed to partake. Okay, so okay, this is a weird one. McKing and the Chief. I guess these are the photos you get when you're married to the mayor. <laughs> you call it worse than one. His machine has an off button. Impressive. <laughs> Supports backs. Fancy. Uh, what else have we got? Pot pottery wheel. <laughs> There's a space in here for a pottery wheel. That seems a bit weird. Cabinet. It's full of signed pictures of McKing. Figures. This place is fabulous. One day you could be as important as this. You just got to get yourself that first case. I solve cases all the time. Arresting a giant marshmallow man isn't a case, it's the result of too much coffee. Uh, okay. I think we've kind of done everything in here. Yeah, marshmallow man, indeed. What's this? Why is this broken? Maybe the motor's bust. I'll have a look at this later. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Empty desk. Officer Murakami's desk. That guy always has some reason to walk around talking to people instead of doing work. Headphone miles. Yeah, it is 50th anniversary um, of Hello Kitty. Weirdly, I don't know why it is. That's why I keep sending stuff, Banshee. My Insta feed. I have no idea why. Just keeps feeding me. <laughs> My uh, Insta feeds all people in gaming and stuff, but it keeps feeding me stuff with Hello Kitty in it. And I just don't understand why. Uh, headphone wires. Broken wires. Uh, Murakami won't care if they're gone. Okay, so I've got wires. Can I do that with that? I don't want my colleagues seeing me at that. Okay. Uh, computer screen. Seems Murakami has set a new high score in whatever he's playing. Damn it! How am I meant to keep better? Get better than him if you keep making me do work. Tell me that, eh? Uh, no talk. Working. Friendly as ever, Wazinski. Go away. So we've got a stairwell. We've got the debriefing room. Fire extinguisher. The pressure seems gone. I should fix it before it's needed. I seem to be getting an awful lot of burst stuff. <laughs> The Discord is about to go under. <laughs> that would be valid, yes. Uh, empty desk. Okay. Uh, so we can go to the stairwell, or we can go to the debriefing room. Whoa, cheese Louise! Fire! You meant to say surprise detective, not fire! <laughs> Dooley, the gifts are on fire. They sure are impressive. <laughs> sprinklers. Why are the sprinklers broken? What's going on here? Uh, cake. I'm going to devour that thing. <laughs> I don't know how to do what, I, what voice to do for uh, Chief Scully. Hands off, officer. We're not cutting into it yet. <laughs> Those gifts are lit. But Chief, really, is the cake really more important than the fire? Actually, who brought fire? We discussed this last time. No more gifts of fire. You can't think of Scully without thinking of B-99. 
goddamn cops thinking they're Prometheus. Okay. Uh, yes, we've done that. Uh, okay, Officer Rita Candy. Although for all the booze we have at these things. What about the fire? Keep you complaining to yourself, Killjoy. <laughs> Detective McNugget. Oh, good God. Two days left of retirement and I'm in a room with an uncontrolled fire. Just like the old gypsy woman said. <laughs> Just like the old gypsy woman said, Banner. We use the same banner for every retirement. Budgets have to be cut somewhere, detective. Do slashed budgets explain why the sprinkler system isn't putting out that fire? That's interesting. Why don't you go do some detecting, detective? Uh, okay. What else have we got? Chief Scully. Chief. <laughs> Honestly, it's I've uncovered a crime ring this and I've lost my gun that with you lot. Well, not today. I'm relaxing and having a drink. A <laughs> fellow drunk hiccuper. <laughs> Grim has never been drunk, rip, says Shine. But in silence, detective, in silence. Okay. Um Dooley, there's a fire. Okay, we've done that. Pinboard. A cork pinboard covered in paper. 100% fire fuel. I need to get this in check and soon. <laughs> Other than pain and suffering. Okay, so. What the heck are we going to do here? Stay well. I need to put out that fire before wandering around. Okay, so we must have... Oh, a can of whipped cream. Okay. Hey, I wanted extra cream on my slice. Um, whiteboard. This is no time for reading whiteboards. It's quite easy to miss stuff. It's just hanging about in the background there sometimes. Now, a bust fire extinguisher. Can I use that in there? I can 100% say this is not something I expected to do today. Fixed fire extinguisher. Whoosh. You'd think an historian who drinks more vodka than the Finnish would have a strong drinking culture, but no, we just drink a ton of vodka. <laughs> That's that taken care of. Wait, what's that? That urn. You mean our gift? Dooley, where did you get that? In, the, in that mysterious Chinese shop we visited last week. Investigated. We investigated it for gremlins. That seems like racial profiling to me. <laughs> Dooley. He clearly had gremlins, which you then bought and brought to the station. Well then, case closed. Dooley, the lid was burnt off. The gremlins are missing and the station is crumbling apart. Like I said, case closed. Dooley, we need to find them before somebody gets hurt. Here, take this. But cake! Gremlin urn, okay. Detective? Didn't you see the fire chief? Of course, it was right there. <laughs> Vodka makes me want to die. And you didn't do anything. What can I do? If people want to re-gift the fires I got them last month, then let them. Wait, you were the one who set those fires around the station last month. They were beacons of hope. 
all very metaphorical. <laughs> uh, they were real fires. Metaphors can be very real. Chief, why is my king's office so much nicer than mine? You think our barely legal goblins and ghouls division should have a bigger office than the mayor's husband? Just be glad you're not down in the basement. Thanks for supporting the dark side division, chief. Don't thank me. Just keep this city clean of those oogie boogie men. And the oogie boogie woman. And non-binary oogie boogies. No discrimination in regards to oogie boogies. Except for the discrimination of keeping them out of Twin Lakes. Apart from that one, yes. I think there may be gremlins loose in the station. Seriously? We just talked about this. You have one job. One job. No oogie boogies in Twin Lakes. This station is in Twin Lakes. Get this situation under control, detective. On it, chief. Okay. No party for you two until this mess is cleaned up. Get to it. Aww. Okay. Uh, what are we doing? <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Pinboard. Take out menus. In fact, I'm seeing nothing work related in here at all. <laughs> it's a party guy, relax. Uh, it's the donut and coffee rota. Important stuff. Okay. So now that that's under control, from what I can see, nobody else got him anything nice anyway. I can go out of here and let's go to the stairwell. Okay. Detective McKing. <laughs> um, and he said, hey, that's my kid's candy. Give it back. So I told him I was the mayor's husband, then showed him my badge and fined him for obstruction of justice. <laughs> oh, Dallas. <laughs> oh, you're so bad. Who's Dallas? It must be so great for you to have a real detective like McKing around to learn from. <laughs> uh, here we go. Oh, you don't have time to talk, you. Isn't there a Wookiee or something you should be arresting? That's not what. Whatever, McLean. Live long and prosper, dork. That'll be us one day, detective. You'll be my king and I'll be Dallas. <laughs> and you know what I mean. <laughs> We're back in the bathroom again. The staff bathroom, so horrible. People only enter for the most dire of emergencies. <laughs> okay. Evidence room. <laughs> it's off my claim. Something's broken. The evidence door. Probably you and your idiot sidekick's fault. I'm going to fix it with my manly skills and muscles. If you really want to help, you can fetch me some more coffee. No need for sugar. Dallas is sweet enough sweetness for me. I'm going in. Uh, I'm going in an Irish accent there. Now I never knew that I could do that really, but it's coming. It's coming through. Detective McKing is now Irish. If you really want to help, you can fetch me some more coffee. No need for sugar. Dallas is sweetness. <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> I don't know where that came from, to be quite honest. It just came out of my mouth. <laughs> I've suddenly become Irish. <laughs> uh... I've been talking, I, I was trying to go for, you know, Cornish, I was going down, but then all of a sudden I became Irish. I sped it up a bit, you know, and it just came out. 
but now I'm getting a bit confused as to whether I'm in the south or the north. Right. <laughs> oh, you're so bad. I hate that man. <laughs> but he's so dreamy. <laughs> right, okay, where are we going? Oh, God, this is getting worse. Reception. There's too many people here, man. Officer Carl. Okay, here's another one. Now that I don't need it, I find a working extinguisher. Doggo, yes. First aid kit. There's nothing in here but laxatives. Officer Banks. Where's Officer Banks going to be from? Uh, let's make him from... Landon, mate. Somebody put him there to suggest us cops are full of... Twin Lakes Police Department. Act and I direct your call. Ooh, I received laxatives. <laughs> Officer Carl, he was meant to be a sniffer dog, but somebody decided to train him only to sniff out candy. But I think all the candy related crimes he's been able to help solve. True, but did we did have an alarmingly high rate of candy smuggling in Twin Lakes. Good job, officer. Okay. Ends off. My lunch is in there. Why is it hidden in work files? So nobody here will touch it. You're a wise man, Banks. Banks was my mentor when I joined the force. That's why they bust me down a desk cop. <laughs> uh, God, there's so many rooms here. Oh, there's a gremlin. Dispatcher. This is the first bit of actual police work I've seen in this place today. Uh, I can't talk now, detective. The system's broken and I can't figure out why. Okay, gremlin. <laughs> yummy, yummy wires. It's trying to hack the database and steal all human info. We should fry him, detective. Interesting idea. Now, what the heck? How am I going to... This server's for the TLP. Not the TPL, the TLP. Ha, bite ha. Ouch. Don't get too close, detective. That thing's a biter. He just... I just got... Yeah, thanks, Dooley. <laughs> Thumbs up. Right. What am I trying to do here? Server. Screen. I don't know much about how this all works, but I know that's not right. Friday evening, 7pm, but crime never sleeps. Us, well, we take shifts, and we're off on public holidays. Gotta take those rest days, detective. Okay. Uh, so we've got that. I'm not quite sure. Is there a solution to anything here? I don't know. I don't think so. Hmm. Okay, holding cells. We put that up to cover the hole a prisoner dug to escape. Sadly for him, he dug his way into the rest of the station. Here's a rat again. This guy's in police protection for informing. <laughs> He's a rat. <laughs> Try not to let your incarceration get you down. Sorry. Okay. So there's nothing else in here. Is <laughs> Roy? Detective! 
I'm going to use my detectiving skills and say you are in for solicitation. Impressive. You are guest, no his soliciting. Right, anyway, hand him over, Roy. Hand what over? Your matches and cigars. I wish I'd never met you, detective. Okay. Uh, did you hear? No, I'm not doing this. I just don't find toilets all that funny. Sorry for taking your matches. I'm not so sure that you are. Hey, maybe you should be a detective too. Um, okay. Leave me alone. Okay, <laughs> I've obviously clicked on him by mistake. Oh, here's the boy. Here's Tam. Tam's graffiti. Tam puts his name places so he knows what's what's and what's not. Oh, Tam loves to whittle. Whittle, whittle, whittle. Tam, you can't have a knife in prison. Tam can, Tam has. I'm afraid I have to confiscate that. Tam did not have one for you in his heart. So I've got the knife in the toilet. Seriously, what am I meant to say about them that isn't literally toilet humour? Okay, so we've got bits and pieces. The hose they use to loop through the cell door handles to lock the place up at night. Chief Scully really pulled this place into a sort of order, didn't she? Oh God, I'm getting so much stuff. Okay. Uh, so, what could I do here? I've got a whole heap of stuff here. Right, let's go back to the stairwell. Have we got the garage or have we got the shooting range? Let's go down to the shooting range. Who's a great one? Oh, yeah! How did it get a gun? Why is everything so unsafe in this station? Pew, pew, dee! Looks like our guys are good enough shots to be stormtroopers. <laughs> uh, I love it. Uh, junction box. A junction box. Okay. But it doesn't say much more than that. I can't get to that bullet hole. It keeps hitting that spot while shooting at us. We need something stronger to hide behind. Uh, right, let's get going. Uh, and let's go to the garage. Junction box. Hmm. Dispatcher's junction box is screwed closed. Okay, so we're not... Uh, can we use the knife on that? Have you ever tried to, I don't know, open something like that just using a screwdriver? I've always been more of a lateral thinker. Oh yeah, baby. Now, I just need to find something to re rewire this with. How about headphone wires? Okay, let's see. <laughs> uh, I need to drag the wires from one node to the other same coloured node without crossing them. Oh, good grief. How is that even possible? So that one must... Let's say that one goes there. Oh. And that one goes there. Uh, that's not going to work though, is it? Oh yes, we can do that. And then do that. Come on. Spike's deed. Yes, the system's back online. Time to do some hardcore cop work. Yippee! 
Yes, McQueen's car. Our government issued block with wheels. McKing's car. Seriously, why does he get all these nice things? A bulletproof sports car. The jerk. Okay, so, ooh, air vent. There's a serious draft coming from those vents. The bolts probably just need to be tightened up. Um, but I don't have my knife anymore, so I can't do that. Construction site. What the heck? Let's get the water flowing again in case another fire starts. Oh my god. The water pipes run all over the station, from the briefing room to the shooting range. But the system seems broken right now. Probably the gremlin's fault. No! No! <laughs> Not again! <laughs> I swear to God! Somebody's got it in for me here. Said he doing it in a one First time. I am proving you so wrong, chat. Every time. Every time I don't pay attention to chat, I do it first time. <laughs> the sprinklers should be working now. Gary Plinkman. You'll have me out of work, you will. Oh, might be in. Gonna get a dog attack? Potentially. Are they coming? Who knows? <laughs> Here they come. Here's the boys. Oh God. <laughs> Here's the boys. Here's the boys. Who's that? Is that Rocket? Good boy. Good boy. Hey. Good boy, Rocket. Good boy. You see, you going to bed? To bedtime? Oh, it's a good lad. Yeah. He's a good boy. You go to bed? Hey, go to bed. He's a good lad. Good bedtimes. Good bedtimes. <laughs> good boy. See you in a bit. He's away. Who's missing out? <laughs> he has two seconds to like shut this door over a wee bit. You've never seen the boys on cam. Well, you have tonight. Hey! Doggo attack, yes. Uh, oh, who knows? Who knows? It's a good few of them anyway. Um, yeah, he's better than his brother tonight because his brother decided tonight when we were out on our walk that he was going to roll in fox poop, which was just lovely. He came bombing past us on the walk and we both kind of went, what the hell's that smell? And then realised that, uh, but it's okay because we've got the portable shower in the car and we've got shampoo in the car, dog shampoo, and we've got various other bits and pieces because we know what's, what they're like. They're a nightmare. Um, anyway, where are we going with this? You don't look very busy. Power tools bust, so Union says I don't work. Not my place to go against Union. You seem familiar. Do I know you? Not that I know of. No. Okay. Toolbox. Mind if I borrow this? Why not? Can't see me getting back to work anytime soon. Monkey wrench. Fences. I think the tiny picket fences really make this place seem homely. Good addition by the chief. Pot of clay. A lump of cold, hard clay. I've no use for this right now. Piping. Some spare pipes from the work that's happening. Okay. Is 
so we've got the water flowing, water valve. I don't want to mess with it now that it's working. Okay, uh, water pipes, water pipes run all over the station. Okay, we've done that. Uh, right, okay, there doesn't appear to be... Now, did he say the power tools weren't working? <laughs> At least she'll see the, uh, she'll see the um, clip. And I've now got the camera in place, so if they come charging in, you can see what's going on. Uh, I wonder if I could use that to do that. <laughs> if I'm seen doing that, I'll never live it down. Okay, so it's definitely not that then. Right, so we can... I think we've probably got everything we can out of this room. So let's go back to the garage. Do you think we need to... Can I do this? The gremlins have broken everything else around here. I'm sure that if I didn't remove this now, it'd fall off soon anyway. Neither of us believes that, but I'm so into this. Fight the system. Dooley, we are part of the system. Speak for yourself. I'm bringing this place down from the inside. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I kind of knew that. <laughs> Oops! I did not expect that to happen. Feel bad about it? No. <laughs> Oops! I'll take this for my trophy cabinet. I mean, I'll take it to be repaired. Yeah, that second one. Detective, how do you get all these things in your pockets? Origami. Okay, let's say the vent broke because some maverick cop was crawling through it. <laughs> Die hard reference, love it. <laughs> but can I... Uh, so I can't, there's nothing I, I can actually... Do you think I'll need to come back at some point and work that one out? Alright, okay, so we're going back. So... Ah, we can use that in the shooting range. I just have to angle it like this. Doink. Oops. Great, the junction box is broken and electricity is spraying out. As if this place wasn't broken enough already. Um. Could I use the holes on the floor now? Well, that's that broken. Now all I need to do is bridge the gap between the gremlin and the electricity. The sprinklers are fixed now, but I need something to activate them. This should achieve something. Oh yeah, baby. That was a shocking way to wrap this up. <laughs> Are you proud of that pun? More than I should be. Okay, so we're all good there. Deed Gremlin. Finally, Dooley. Grab the gun and I'll take this guy. Okay, so we've got that. I don't suppose we need to go... Oh, right. So we <laughs> you can actually pick them up, which is even better. Uh, so we go back through here and into... No, not there. Where was the other one? Oh, reception. Was it reception? Aha, uh -huh, we can get that. It's passed out. Let's get it out of here. So we've got that and we've got that. Uh, that's all back online. Hands off, detective. They just came back online. I won't risk them feeling again. Right, okay. So this room appears to be complete as well. So... Uh, 
blueprint. I seem to have an awful lot of stuff. <laughs> but I'm not entirely sure. What I should be doing next. Oh, where was the, there was a, one in the um, carriage shooting range, evidence room, bathroom, bullpen, reception, holding cells. Was this the one with the gremlin? No. Was there a gremlin in one of these? No. No, because that was Tam. And Roy. Where's the other? Uh, what kinds of cells does this place hold? In? Human, animal, or vegetable? I take it I can't just chuck it. I'd be out of work if Chief Scully found me doing that. Hmm. I was confused. Right, I think what we'll do... I don't think we're going to solve all of this tonight. I'm a bit confused as to where... We've done the shooting range, we've done the garage. We can't get into the evidence room. Okay. Ah! Right, we can give him this. I knew you were good for something, McLean. Right. I don't have time to... Oh, we've done that. That's the whole whatever. Uh, hey, you, you can fetch me some more coffee for sugar. I've done that. So what's he going to do? Ah, damn it. I should have done that, shouldn't I? Okay, where did I get that coffee from? Let's go to the vending machine. Uh, I might as well take another cup. No bother. I'm not going to play that much longer, Phil, to be fair. If I need another later on, I can always come back. Right, so I've got that and I can put that in there. Spiked coffee. No bother. Always good to have you in. See you later. Right, I think what I'll do is I'll give this to this guy. <laughs> Keep the coffee coming, McLean. I could drink this stuff all day. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, no. Get out of my way. He's off. Right, evidence room. Now to fix this with my manly skills and muscles, but mostly by finding a way to cheat this magnetic lock. Right, uh, have we got the stuff here that we can do this? No. Uh, maybe I need to get the magnet out of the shell. How the hell do I do that? Right, so we now, when do we think that that last saved? <laughs> okay, it's saved there, so we can we can stop it there. I think it's probably a decent enough spot to stop it and we can pick it up next thing. I still got this stupid hat. Because it is getting a wee bit later and I've got work in the morning and Grim needs to work out, etc, etc. So, yeah, quit the game there. Are you sure you want to quit the game? Yes. Okay, we shall do that and we'll go back to there and I can take that off. Oh, head's absolutely wrecked because that's been on. <laughs> I think I'll just keep that on at the moment, actually. Um, yes, enjoyable again. Uh, managed to get another couple of voices in there, so that was good fun. Uh, you were wearing that all stream, I know. 
it, I think it, I got the first half hour or so before it, it ended up coming on. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I need to work on my Irish one. The Irish one comes and goes. <laughs> Every now and again, I get rattled with the Irish one. And I think, well, I'm pretty good at that. And then they go as well. Uh, and it goes back into... It. There's so many... When you start doing them, the thing is, you start realising that there's so many accents that actually are reasonably close to each other, depending on whether you go fast or slow. Uh, did I forget? No, I just... It was quite nice having it on. It was <laughs> it was quite warm, so it was just... Uh, I kept it on there. But thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm, I'm just constantly auditioning for you, David, there. Road death voice acting skills, soon the VA career will take off. <laughs> I'll work on the Irish one for next time. Um, so, Friday, I will be back and we will finish Lazarus, uh, our sojourn on the ship. Uh, I think we're probably two thirds, just over two thirds of the way through it. So, Friday should see us complete Lazarus. Uh, for Indie Horror Night. I think I will do the quick uh, April the 24th demo because it's under 10 minutes. So we might just start with that uh, just to show off Emeka Games Brothers' new uh, game. So Indie Horror Night on Friday and then we should be back on Sunday night back on the Dark Side Detective Kick uh, and we'll finish off this uh, chapter and try and get the other one done. So that we're... we're we're probably going to be about halfway through. <laughs> Fun stream with us being off the door. Indeed, indeed. So, yeah, good to have everyone in. Uh, good. That, thanks very much for hanging out if you've been here right to the very end. Uh, and I shall see you again on Friday, hopefully. Cheers. See you later. Bye. Thanks, everybody.